Well, this is what we call date night. There is no restaurants in our town. You have to drive to go somewhere to eat out. Miss Cindy's not able to go and sit in restaurants. Nope. Her condition makes it very dangerous for us and them. <laughs> Which, many people want to call ambulances? Yeah, we, we freak too many people out. So we started having our date night at the house. It's easy. Our children are grown and on their own, so... Yeah, we're basically empty nesters. We got one left that's almost 18. But... He is 18. He just turned 18. She's not. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not mentioning names, but yeah. just anyway. <laughs> this ain't about Cindy. This ain't about her condition. We're doing this to hopefully help somebody to plant a seed. This is to us is important. We take time out once or twice a month, maybe if we're lucky, sometimes more. Like on a Friday night or a Saturday night, we have a meal together, just me and her. We're not discussing what's going on at the house or work or we're not discussing homestead issues or YouTube. It's our time with each other to spend some quality time. I think sometimes you get too busy, especially when you're trying to build a homestead or trying to manage something. Some people don't call it a homestead. Some people call it a farm. Some people call it, you know, just normal life. But it's good to take a break sometimes and Spend an hour or two not talking about everything that you normally do. <laughs> well, you, you talk about you, yourself, each other. And you share your feelings, you share what's going on with you. And the stress of my loving condition has put on us. The, these have become more special because it's just a time for us to check out of our life for a moment and spend an hour of just together just connecting as I told somebody before the all the work that you do some people are busy all the time if you call it a homestead or you call it a farm or a home that works gonna be there when you get back no. there's always gonna be work to do if you're managing or keeping one going or trying to build a homestead there's always gonna be work so take a few minutes out and enjoy each other's company it doesn't matter what you eat. No. Yeah. She's having to eat my cooking, so, you know. I don't complain. You're a good cook. We're not going to drive to another county or drive to the opposite end of the county to find a restaurant. We just cook here. It's cheaper. And we cook what we want. I like the way you cook, too. Hope you all have a good weekend. If you're in the middle of the storms, hope you stay dry and warm. <laughs>